M156 timing. This is the right side exhaust and intake. This tool that will slide in the back side in these slots in the cams. Okay, so you can see already this one needs how much more this one needs to turn and this one to turn for this to actually slide in. Once we get this locked in, we're going to then use this tool and get this set up and locked on right here as well. So this is our exhaust uh, cam adjuster. This is what um, the sensors actually read as far as reference for cam position. Um, and these are oil controlled, so oil actually comes up and through the cover through here and this is how you'll get your adjustments to advance or retard your uh, timing ever so slightly. So Okay, so we got everything all set up. We got the right exhaust intake. It's intake right, exhaust right. These don't necessarily matter really where you have your orientation. You just kind of want them as close to pointing upward as you can so that way you can put in that little service screw. You can see where my markings are. They're relatively close to that original up mark that we had. Um, when you are at 40 degrees, which is what these marks are right here it'll be hard to pick up on camera but that does have a 40 noted there and i'll put a blue mark uh just as a you know easy visual reference and then that's going to line up with that there um each time that i was torquing down and setting timing on both sides i did make sure that we were at 40 degrees before actually torquing everything down um, we still have our back part of the lock in front lock and then our reference wheel reference will that is such a hard word for me to say reference will uh you know alignment plate here so i'm gonna go ahead and take these t30s off get this off t30s here get that off and then ever so gently tap that off Okay, got this set up. Uh, so what I did is I ran these two bolts down. I believe they're 18 millimeter. Let's see, yeah, 18 millimeter. I ran these down uh, just finger tight. Um, and then once I did that, got them a little bit hand tight enough to where I could still move uh, reference reels. And this tool works for both, both banks or both sides. The LINKS links is gonna be the left side. EIN is, you know, abbreviated short German for intake and AUS is short abbreviated for exhaust. Um, and the torque spec for these is going to be 120 Newton meters. So we're going to grab my torque wrench and that way we can get this torque down to the 120 Newton meter torque spec. double checking making sure uh, crank is still at 40 degrees both my marks are still lined up here so I'm gonna go ahead and get these torqued down
good deal. So we got that torqued down. Now we can take the T30s off from here and as well as here. And then we may need to wiggle the uh, actual cam around a little bit to get that back locking off. So I'm gonna do that now. Timing is complete. Um, just as a precaution, I am going to rotate it around several times, recheck timing. I want to make sure everything is still where it should be. Before doing that, I am going to take these, um, I want to say it was M6. I'll put, a, I'll put comments in there as to what it was. So I'm going to go ahead and get this finished up. Thanks everybody for watching.